The first step in installing the Be Quiet SR1 is going to be installation of the back plate. Uh, the back plate is going to obviously go up against the back of the motherboard and screws will go through uh, the proper holes. Now if you look it's a one size fits all Intel and AMD so you're going to need to use the proper holes for the mount you're using. Most common Intel are uh, in the corners, three holes, 1366, 1155, 56 and 775. So you're just going to put the screw through the correct hole and through the motherboard. Obviously all four screws right on through. Now something to keep in mind, um, the kit does come with plastic washers which are shims for, to, for better uh, pressure, higher pressure. However, it distinctly tells you in the manual do not use them with 1155-56 as it will take the pressure out of spec for the motherboard. Once you've got all four screws through, we can move on to the inside of the case. Once we've got the screws through and through the back plate, four tiny rubber washers will then push onto the screws, which will hold the screws in place and are also going to act as the springiness um, in the mount itself to keep the pressure even. And after they're on, the back plate is in place and will stay somewhat secure for you while you're working. With the mounting system in place, next we're going to mount the cooler itself. Um, I have affixed the mounts onto the cooling block itself, the contact block. Uh, four screws, obviously different retention brackets, four AMD, and uh, two different for Intel, 1155, 1156 having their own, 775, 1366 sharing uh, a common bracket. Now, the placement of the cooler itself is very important. You never want to have the pipes facing down. Pipes, ideally, if you can fit it in your case, you want them facing up. And worst case scenario, you can do a side to side mount. Uh, in this case, it will fit up, so we're going to do it that way. Um, obviously, what we're going to do here is four screw holes, four screws. We're going to place the screw holes over the screws and tighten it down from the back of the uh, back of the motherboard. After you've tightened it down, installed in the case, the uh, Be Quiet Shadow Rock SR1 uh, top flow has a great look. It comes out a little bit further than a PCI uh, Express or PCI card, um, so very slim. But one of the nice things, even though it's top down, very slim, you've got a good amount of room for RAM. Um, literally, you can get a couple of fingers back there between that and standard height RAM, so you're going to be able to use some of the taller heat sinks with it. And uh, obviously, all four slots are open. Uh, with standard height RAM, you have no problem putting, uh, taking RAM out or putting it in with the cooler installed. So. Be Quiet SR1 top flow, uh, good looking installation, not the easiest installation in the world, you do have a little trouble you know, lining it up, the four screws, uh, a lot of people have expressed you know, difficulty, um, I've done it quite a few times, it only takes me a minute, I find if you start one screw, which you can see, you'll be able to get the others in very very quickly, as soon as you have the second one lined up, the other two just fall right into place, so it's really not a painful installation at all. Um, very secure installation and as always from Be Quiet a really polished looking cooler.